Welcome, I'm so happy to have you. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good? Welcome back. Today's video is special because I'm collaborating with my girl Nini, AKA Queendom Mindset. For the entire month of January, she has been showcasing super cute and affordable units that we can slay for the beginning of the new year. Now, one thing I like about Nini is that her channel is full of wigs that you can wear for a very affordable price. And I mean, across the gamut. She does synthetic and human hair. She does kinky, curly, coily, straight. She does braided wigs. I mean, she has it all. So when you go to her channel, you're guaranteed to find something that you like. Definitely check out my girl, Nini. On top of that, her work ethic, yes, beast mode. That girl posts like four times a week. <laughs> nah, but no, seriously, I really admire that. And I just like that she's on her grind. So I support Mimi and I suggest you do the same. Check my description box. You'll see the link to her channel down below and make sure you check out her review because I'm sure whatever wig she chose, she's slaying it. All right, so let's just dive into the wig today. I have brand new wig from Outre, Catalina. This is the Melted Hairline series and that's the big hype what's going on with this melted hairline basically it gives the frontal effect without it being a full-on frontal and as you can see here honey we are getting frontal vibes okay but not for the frontal price so as far as the cap construction you will see that it does come with two combs near the front a comb in the back with an adjustable strap it does have an elastic band however the placement's a little weird. It's like close to the parting space. I'm not sure why they did that. It does come as a right side part wig and the curved part goes back about five inches. And it also comes with this contoured hairline here. It looks really natural to have like these little sparse, to have these sparse hairs coming down here. You might think that it's extra lace, but it's not, it's supposed to be there. All right, let's just dive into the pros of Catalina. First pro I would say is the construction of this wig. I think Outre did an awesome job with the hairline. It is definitely pre-plucked and you do not need to pluck anymore. If you do, that's your prerogative. But for me, I was totally fine with the way it came out the box. I applied my um, foundation, which was a little bit darker than the lace and I was pretty much good to go. Now the lace color is like a, it's not like a brown, this was like an olive green color, which is different. I don't know if that like helps with the melt or something like that, but I was here for it. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I also really like the parting space. I love that it's a curved part. I think that looks really natural. I also appreciate the style and the density of this unit. I mean, this is all the hair here to the front. And y'all know I like a lighter density, so this is perfect for me. Look at these curls. Look at these layers come through out tray. Now, even though I think this wig is very nice, I do have two cons. The first con would be the cap size. It's fitting me tightly right now. I'm like, is this cap too small? Is it me? I don't know. I have a medium sized head. So if you've tried Kelly already, let me know how it worked out for you because yeah, it's fitting me kind of snug. 
I still feel like it's worth it to try it, even if it is a little bit small for your head. Now the other cons of this wig, which I don't normally experience, is the hair color I chose. Y'all, this brown sugar color, I'm not feeling it on me. I feel like it's literally blending in with my skin. I mean, yes, there's a little highlight right here in the front, a little face framing, but I'm not, I don't like this color on me. I thought I would like it. I am brown sugar, like why would I get brown sugar? Ugh. I would love this so much more in a 1B. If I had this in a dark color, I would feel like a goddess. But, you know, I'm gonna settle with this brown sugar for now, at least through the review. I probably should sell it. Speaking of selling, I am gonna have a wig sale soon. Probably by Valentine's Day, I will keep you posted. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I update on there every single day, multiple times a day on my, new, on my stories. So if you wanna hear about a wig sale or anything that's coming up on my channel, Check me out. But yeah, y'all, this wig is cute. I think that Outre is definitely stepping their game up. They end of the year, 2019 in the bang, and they're trying to start 2020 with the bang as well. I do have the wig Aaliyah, and I will be reviewing that probably by next week. If you wanna see that, let me know in the comments down below. And if you've tried it, let me know how you feel about it. Overall, I think this is a nice collection so far. I mean, for the price and for what you're getting, the quality, I think it's awesome. Again, I really wish I tried this in a dark color or just a lighter blonde color. The brown sugar, I've seen it on other YouTubers and it looks really good on them. So I think it's just me, my preference with my undertone, why I'm not really feeling it right now. But please let me know what you think about Catalina. How do you feel about this color on me? How do you feel about the hairline, the the texture, how do you feel about this style? I think this is just, you know, something that you need to have in your wig collection, straight up. If you are a beginner and you want to, you know, get more familiar with frontals, this is definitely the wig to start with. I think Outre made it very easy for us. They did everything for you. They pre-plucked it. They added a little contoured hairline, apparently. They got the, the parting space popping. All you have to do is put it on and lay it down with your glue free spray. That's it. I am really pleased with this collection as I was with the last collection. Some of you already know that I love the, the Nisha Soft and Natural units. I did a lookbook on it, I've done reviews on it. If you haven't checked it out, I will leave it in the description box down below. I know they're out of stock right now, but hopefully they'll get back in stock. That's all I can say about that. But yeah, definitely check out my reviews on the other Outre units. Also, if you came over from Mimi's channel and you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Tap that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm also really excited because I just hit 8,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Oh my God, I can't believe I'm on the road to 10K. Of course, it's not all about vanity metrics, but you know, it's still nice to see like your views go up. It's still nice to see your subscriber count go up because it just, something that you can see, something that's tangible that shows that your hard work is paying off. So, you know, I am really excited about it. Thank you to everyone who has been supporting me. And if you're just now jumping on the bandwagon, well, come on down. Make sure you check out my girl Nini if you have not already. Link in the description box and go see what she's slaying on her channel. And if you'd like to see some of my recent videos, make sure you check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. These feelings I have for you can go deeper if you can come correct with your game.